Hey love bugs, this is why I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. If you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. And if you feel like you resonate with my video and enjoy what you, what, what you heard, go ahead and press that like button, thumbs up, and even share. It'll greatly be appreciated. And thank you so much for taking the time out and seeing about my channel today. And for my returning subs, what's up, fam? Much love to you. Much love and light. Namaste. Love and blessing. And many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much for coming by and seeing about the video today. And today I'm listening to calm Arabian music. Um, it's called Old Sands, Old of Sands, um, for morning yoga meditation. So I will put that link in the description box below if you like to listen to it. It's very calming. It really is because it just makes you feel like you're, you know, you're out somewhere like in Dubai or something like that and doing something very calm and relaxing. So if you like to meditate and stuff like that, you know, go ahead and do that. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Opus, free yourself. Hey, Opus, free yourself. Right now, it's like so critical that you do that. If there is anything that is going on with you, like, we go through stuff every day. <laughs> I don't even know why I even say if there's anything going, with, going on with us. There's always something going on with us every day. If we're not dealing with our stuff, we're dealing with somebody else's. And we're trying to save the day on somebody. So, it's just like, we are out here to help people. We are out here to heal ourselves from whatever past trauma that we're going through. But we have to be able to let it go. Right now, I don't know what's going on, but it's just so many crazy things that's going on. People are, you know, going through their awakenings and going through kundalinis and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and make a video about awakenings for us. Um, and it's, it, it's just really crazy because the fact is right now we need to have more of us come out. There's just more of us that's coming out. More of us is just actually acknowledging what it is that you truly are, what your gifts are. You have to be able to steady on the research and everything but you have to be willing to let go of whatever that is holding you back if you're going through something right now and you just feel like you know these past experiences are coming up you know you're 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 matching up with people that you know it reminds you of something that's negative it's just there's a reason for all these things that keep coming up there's a reason why these people keep reoccurring in your past and you have to be able to pay attention to what things are going on in your psyche. What things are you pushing out to the universe? And it's so critical right now that you're doing this because it's just like I see so many people and I can actually feel so many people going through so many things. It's just like I can be blurting out something and I'm just like, where is this coming from? This is not me. I don't even know where this is. You know, this is not even something I would say. So I know there's a lot of people going through so many things right now, but it's just like so, so critical, so critical. It's very important that you'll be able to get through these things that you're getting through. You might feel like, you know, it, it, it's just like our tragedies. It's like our, our best tragedies give us the best strength. I'm serious. Our best tragedies give us the best strength because it's just like from last week, from the things that I went through, so much hell from, you know, uh, dealing with the, the, the verdict or, I mean, basically the information that, you know, a lot of people that deal with my father or, you know, affiliate with him, you know, it was just like a spit in the face that day. And then the same day, they're, you know, posting up a picture of his lifeless body. Now I'm having to go through things with my parents, you know, my adopted family you know, denying things, and then, you know, my dad's actual anniversary, and my best friend of 26 years, um, it, her anniversary passed, you know, it came the next day after my dad, so if that right there didn't tell me how much stuff I had to go through, and I said, you know what, 
everything happens for a reason. I still don't understand, you know, why people get taken out of our lives. And it just seems like when it comes to people passing, it's like the evil people are still here, but all the good ones are getting left. <laughs> all the good ones are able to go home and go to heaven or whatever. And it's just like, we have to be able to get through these things because if we want to be able to excel, be in a better version of ourselves, we have to be able to let go of whatever is holding us back. Well, well, if it's toxic relationship, toxic people, the way of your thinking, the way you feel about yourself, you know, you have to be able to have that confidence in yourself because you have to look at the things that you have been through that you can actually say, you know what, I've made through this situation I've actually conquered this situation so it's just like when you're going through the worst thing you might feel at that moment when you're going through it that you might not be able to survive but when you get up the next day you know you're trying to be a better version of yourself your, yourself that lets you know that you have the strength to do it it's just that process in your mind that you have to figure it out for yourself like you know what I'm strong I'm gonna be able to get through this you know you might be in high school and you're getting bullied and you can just get to that point where I'm not saying that you need to put your hands on anybody because I don't never suggest violence for anybody because it, it you know you never want to have anybody take you out your character but there has to be a point in your life where you can actually look at your your negative situation and put a positive spin on it you really have to because it's just like I said in the last <laughs> four or five days I was going through this and I said you know what if I could get through this I know I can get through anything because I didn't think I was going to be able to make I thought I was going to lose my mind when I saw my dad's picture I was like you know what this is it I'm done and you know I said I'm, I'm not going to allow this to beat me because things will be thrown in your path just to test you to see how good your strength is really getting you and when you're able to recognize this and it's just like you know it might upset you at that point in time but okay cry do your yayas or whatever you have to do get it out but just know that you're going to get through whatever you're going through. So go ahead and free yourself. Don't allow your past experiences, your past things, be a billboard of your life because it's not. You need to be a billboard of saying, you know what, I went through this, but guess what? These are the ways that I got through it. So you be a billboard for being a survivor. Don't be a billboard of being sort of a victim of anything. Free yourself. So I'm not trying to sit up here and hold you up today. I just went ahead and made this video and hopefully it resonates with somebody who you enjoy what you heard. Like, share, thumbs up. Like and subscribe. Even hit me hit me up. I love to get the positive feedback and I really appreciate that. And thank you so much for the warm comments that everybody has been leaving. Much love to you. I will keep you in my prayers and I hope you definitely keep me in yours. And I will see you on my next video. Be nice and send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.